day seven, vlog eight. Ultra blue. It's good. Berry. If any of them don't resemble citrus, it's probably this one. It's probably the least citrusy, least acidic. Blueberry. Yeah, blueberry. It's uh, it's pretty good. Not much else to say on it. Um, honestly, it's been a really long time since I had a Zion's Blue Pomegranate, the one I gave a 10. And I don't think this is as good as that, but I feel like the flavor sort of resembles it. It's like berry. You don't get a lot of berry flavor energy drinks unless it's like Blue Raz or something like that. So it is kind of unique. I would say... I don't know. This is good. I'm not sure if it's better than the red, though. I do I do like the berry. I do like berry flavor stuff in general. So this is definitely top two that I've tried so far. I just don't know if I want to rank it above the red or not. Uh, give me a minute. Give me a minute to ponder it. All right. I'm giving it an 8.9. It's better than the zero, the original, but it's not as good as the red, just barely, ever so slightly. So it's an 8.9 for the Monster Ultra Blue for me. So you may have seen Mason's video on his <coughs> shoe collection, which I thought was a pretty cool idea. Uh, I have a collection of my own. It's uh, this one book. No, I'm just kidding. It's, uh, it's it might not be as cool to some people. It's his collection. But I'm very amateur when it comes to this, but I do like to collect coins a little bit. So these ones, they're the state park quarters, but they're the, they're like proof. As you can see, like good condition. These ones actually Harley won them from a quarter auction, but he wasn't interested in them and he gave them to me. So that's pretty nice. Uh, these, are, these as well, I think, are from that. It's got this little book. All the foreign coins I find I put in here. I don't have many. None useful. I got this. I don't know what that is. Some Asian thing. This is German, I think. This is from uh, the Bahamas. And this is just a normal Canadian penny, which you can find all the time because they look just like American pennies. You got a $2 bill. Nothing special. I've got this thing, 20th century. A uh, little book. So it's mostly complete. More than halfway complete at least. Got all the pennies. These are all from the 20th century obviously. So every penny from the Indian to the current one. Every nickel from the Liberty Head to the current one. Every, uh, almost every dime. I don't have a silver Roosevelt. I've got most of the quarters. I just don't have the standing Liberty quarter. Obviously, half the half dollars. Franklin won. Cost me like, I don't know, $8 from eBay. That's how I got some of these. Uh, I traded, uh, I don't know. I know there's a deal that I traded something to get. Oh, it was this. I traded something to Parker to get one of these. My other friend who's also into coin collecting. Oh, normal freaking little uh, Susan B. Anthony dollar and then. My birth year is 2001, so I just haven't found a half dollar from 2001. Nothing special, but I think that's cool. I think it's cool. These old, uh, these really old, these like relatively old coins. <coughs> My oldest one I have is this 1897 quarter, which I got off eBay. These, I think these are cool. I actually, this particular coin I got off eBay, and I could have got one from... It's from 1911. I could have got one from 1910 that was of the same price and was, looked a little cleaner. But literally, I only cho chose this one because Red Dead Redemption t takes place in uh, 1911, so I thought that was cool. Uh, you might not have known. In 1943, they 
diverted most of the copper and all that to the war effort, so they made their pennies out of steel. Same reason they made nickels out of silver when they needed to use the nickel and all that. It's from those. 44. So, some cool facts you might not know. Actually went to a antique shop and saw that they had a bunch of old coins, and I thought it was pretty cool to own a coin from Nazi Germany, which, I mean, you gotta admit, it's pretty cool. This was literally before World War II happened. German people were trading with this, so that's that's kind of cool. I've got some silver, two ounces actually. I got these years ago. I was into silver, but I just didn't have any money to spend on it to invest. So I I just like you know saved up this much to get two one two ounces. Cause I thought I watched so many like silver stacker prepper videos and all that. This is the 2017 Britannia one troy ounce. So you can see the queen on the back, and this is the Australian uh, kangaroo. This one 2016. So these are two good quality silver silver ounce coins. I got this gold-plated buffalo nickel, which really wasn't expensive because the amount of plating, the amount of gold you need to plate a nickel like this is so insignificant you can't even count it. So it's literally just a nickel, but it looks gold, and I think it's pretty cool. It wasn't very expensive, though. I've got this uh, National Park quarters. I'm trying to collect them whenever I get them. If you know me and I get change in my car or anything when I'm out somewhere, you always see me looking at the quarters to see if I have any. I've got most of them. And then, of course, pretty much the same thing. Uh, up here, 50 states. I don't always keep it up there, but for quick access during this video, I did. Most of the 50 states. And, of course, I'm putting the D1s, the ones that were minted in Denver, on the map, which I have... Looks like all the states. I guess I'm only missing Virgin Islands and Florida. And then uh, I put the P1s minted in Philadelphia on the alternate one. So by the end, I'll have what? A hundred and twelve quarters in here. So that's pretty cool. I actually keep this up here, so. Yeah, that's my little half coin collection, so, yeah. I do have some other cool stuff, I guess, in this room I could show you. These, I was the back-to-back -back Geography Bee champion of my elementary. So, fifth and sixth grade, uh, my school in Iowa had a Geography Bee, and then I ended up going to the state. I didn't do very well at state, but I got there, so that was pretty cool. I just made this for fun because I'm an anarchist. Got this from a antique shop. Uh, the same place I got. No, not the same place. A different, different one than the one I got the Nazi coin from. But I just thought this was really cool because there's, it doesn't have a date, so I don't really know how old this is. I don't imagine it's like from the time of Ralph Waldo, em Waldo Emerson, because that'd be really old. But I've just never seen, like, whatever this is, some sort of felt leather. Never seen a little cover like this. Plus, it's really, it's burnt. It's kind of fragile. It's, you can still read it, though, so I might read it sometime. I thought that was pretty cool. So, these are some cool things, too. Uh, this thing right here, I think is a pretty cool decoration. It's only a decoration. I definitely wouldn't use this in combat. It's rattly. It's not sharp or anything. So it's only made for decoration. But considering I'm the biggest fan of Assassin's Creed 3 um, in the world, and I don't think anyone comes close, I was very happy to make this purchase. And that was years ago. It cost me like $50. And I don't think I would buy it again uh, if it was me right now. 
but I do think it is really cool. Uh, and this, this is a painting of Biggie Smalls. If you can't tell, I'm a Biggie fan. So for a certain project for our school that we went to, well, that we go to, I guess, but that I don't go to anymore because the world is canceled. So for a project for our school, we had to do a painting and it had to be something like from American history, literally could be anything. So I chose to do this painting of Biggie. I knew it'd be pretty hard because it's a person's face and there's so many different details you had to do, but I'm not going to lie to you. I did this the night before and it took me a couple hours. Obviously I traced it beforehand, but all the painting I did in a couple hours and I really didn't think I had no experience with painting. This is pretty much the only thing I've done to any, um, to this extent at least. Uh, but I was really impressed like with how it turned out. Like on the face, I didn't think I'd be able to get the shading and everything to look good. You might not think it looks good, but I think maybe it's because I I did it that I'm a little biased. But I think it, I think it's all right. I think the problem is, if anything, it's this crown. It looks sort of too cartoony to combat with a semi-realistic face. I do think it turned out pretty well. So yeah. So if you watch the video I put up called A Message From Your New Leader, this is actually the helmet that I was wearing. Um, it's been a while since I made this purchase and since I've like been into stuff like this. But I do think I remember this is a Model 1942 German Stahlhelm. And I think it's pretty cool. It cost me about $60. But its specifications are pretty much the same as what they would have used back in World War II. This is, uh, it's pretty heavy if you put it on, but the Stahlhelm was, I think, the most effective helmet throughout the world wars, and you can pretty much tell because modern military's helmets are basically based off this design, rather than if you would look at the British helmets or the American helmets back in the day, or even the French ones to some degree, these ones, to some these ones somewhat stood the test of time. This is what I do with my time in the absence of an occupation. Uh, yeah, I spent a lot of time on this, but I mean, that would be a problem if I had anything else to do. But since I don't, I just basically just, I basically just spend my time doing this. I mean, it's either this or video games at this point. Um, so I think this is a little bit more productive. Uh, you know, if you want to turn this into an occupation, share this enough times that I can make legitimate ad revenue and we can make legitimate ad revenue off this. And then that can be a job. Uh, or you can just continue to watch me slave and toil away uh, needlessly for no one to watch and without hope of any sort of financial gain, which I'm fine with for the foreseeable future, obviously not for the rest of my life, but this is basically what I've done for a long time appreciate the work that i put in to these humble vlogs that i do uh it's a lot of put a lot of love into them so like them share them and subscribe <sighs> dru vlogs mother also watching the footage that i took i found that maybe a normal observer might find it a little weird that i have not one but two pieces of German National Socialist memorabilia, and they might be a little concerned, but I mean, obviously, I'm not a fan of the Nazis. I mean, maybe that's not obvious, but I'd like to make that clear. I'm not an advocate of National Socialism, and not just because, you know, the ridiculously horrific stuff they did, but I'm not a fan of socialism in general. I'm an anarcho-capitalist, and I don't believe in government, so I certainly 
don't believe in an overarching tyrannical fascistic government so i guess that's out of the way unless you don't want to believe me in which case whatever the reason i am sort of interested in the time period is because of uh it's just so different from what we are today and it wasn't even that long ago like it's crazy to think how people lived and what they thought and what it was like in a society that we so universally um sort of detest nowadays it's just interesting to think about what life might might have been like for maybe the average citizen there and not only just in germany but like in the world i mean there's plenty of people still alive today that were alive during this period so that goes to show how not long ago it was in relative terms of human history but things were just so different everything the amount of change in the equivalent time period from the 1940s to now is so much greater than that same amount of time anywhere else in history like if you went from 17 if you went from like 1340 to 1420 uh, like if someone from now went back to both of those places they really wouldn't be able to tell the difference but so much has changed and particularly during world war ii it was such a significant event it's it's crazy how much that changed the world and how much like we haven't seen an event like that war since until maybe right now with the coronavirus so it is a really interesting time and it's really cool to have like pieces of history even if it's from parts of history that aren't glorious i guess